three guitar buddies, that was The Fall and Cruiser's Creek. So it's based around a guitar riff in the verse and some chords in the chorus. The main riff is this. Okay, so I'm playing a C and an E on five and five of the G and B strings. Okay, and then going to B flat and D on three and three. And then just a single note riff, G, G, F, D, F. So the D string, five, five, three. Then five on the D string. You could play open, but I prefer playing it on five. So five on the A string. Back to three. And then that's all in the verse, and then the chorus, we've got an F. I'll just play that quite scratchy. So then I'm going to an E minor. Then an A sus4. So, so just add in to the A chord a D on three on the B string. And then just play an A, play that D again. And then, a, and then hitting the open strings, so it's kind of an open G, to lead us back into the E minor. So we've got... So, oh sorry. Last time, I don't go to the open strings, I just play just, just the, the A with the sus4. Okay, and then we're back into. So once you've learned those two sections, you can play along with the whole song. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the bass. The main bass riff I play is this one. I'm starting on C, on three on the A string. B flat on one, G on three on the E string, and then an F on one to a B flat on one on the E and A strings. Now you may have noticed on the playthrough that sometimes there's a little variation on that, so I'm playing. So there I'm playing, same start, and then when I go to the F, I'm playing. So that fill I'm playing, F, B flat, open D, E. So one, one, open, on one on E, one on A, open D, to E on two, and then a quick pull off, to open D, a C, and then quickly back into the riff. So that's the variation. So you'll hear in the track that sometimes, I mean, you could still just play the, the basic riff and it would fit just fine. But it's nice to put that in. And then in the chorus, we've got an F, which I'm just playing F, and just throwing in some open E's. So just one and open E string. Then I'm playing E minor over the E minor. E, B, G, B. So open, two on A, three on E, two on A. And then open A, C, D, C, D, C. Open three, five, three, five, three. And then the second time I'm playing, same start. E, B, G. But this time I'm going to a D. On five. On the A string. 
played a E flat, D, C, open A, six, five, three, open. And then finishing with a G to open E. So, so, sorry. Then it repeats again. An extra A note ba, 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 at the end, okay, and then just as we come out of that chorus, we go up the neck. So I just started by just playing a couple of a G and a B flat together on 17 and 15 on the top two strings, the G and, uh, G and D strings, and then I'm basically playing the riff up here. So I'm playing C, C, B flat, G, G, F, D, F. So that's 17 to 15, then 17, 15 on the D string, then 17 on the A string, that's a D. So G, G, F, D, back to F on 15. back into the main kind of riff. All right, so it's a great fun one to play there. So a great request and enjoy a bit of the fall. Thanks for watching, buddies.